to another explanation videos for essential tools for a pretty super good painting painting like a pro and what do you need for that and this hobby needs a lot of stuff really a lot of stuff and i will show you uh stuff that you need and stuff maybe that you not need i need yeah <laughs> but let us uh, start with uh, some companies and some stuff that i use for example uh, miniatures like this one here check this out this is uh, the Mephiston from uh, Games uh, GW uh, Games Workshop uh, Warhammer 40k. I paint this guy and uh, pretty awesome miniature. I love the scalp, very, very cool. And okay, this one for showing. And here's my new one it's an Ultramarine exclusive miniature. Uh, Lieutenant Kelsius uh, make the base in the, another video about the basing you can watch it and yeah I will show you stuff uh, what you need for painting style like this and first we start um okay you see here the wet palettes let me explain later about the wet palettes this is the awesome tool essential tool of the whole wide world the best that I know uh, I will never miss it from the company Red Grass Games but let us uh, see what we have for the other stuff okay I put this away because we explain it later oh so first first is uh, the most essential tools are the brushes yeah they are a lot of brushes on the market the um, for me in my opinion one of the best because it's uh, the price is okay the quality is okay uh, good and everything is fine you can clean up very good the bristles are very good the tips are good are these two companies of course there are another companies that's also good like da vinci or uh, rafael or rosemary's or whatever yeah but in my case i use always these from red grass games most of the time i use this big one this is size two for me normally it's too big but it's perfect for uh, glazing and some base coats and other stuffs and the price is normally it's okay and uh, another one is uh, a small one a detail a super detail it's a 3-0 from red grass, red grass games this is also very good have a good tip good grip and yeah i like this too uh, red grass games is sending me this because i have to say red grass games is one of my supporter my favorite supporter i love them this is a super company super handsome guys very very smart and the techniques that they use are very clever and what can i say yeah but these two brushes are good but i use always these from Winsor and Newton. This is uh, this is the Winsor and Newton Series Seven, size one. This is for me one of the best size that you can use. I try to show you. Yeah, size one. It's not too big, not too uh, small. The negative point is it's very gritty here. Yeah, these ones are better in the grip, but this ones is very gritty. But I can handle this and for me a pretty awesome brush but it's very expensive so not too much expensive but is it is expensive then I use the zero from this series seven zero is for me also a good brush have a good tip and so on and I use really uh, in the last time this short Winston Newton series 7 miniature 
this is the miniature I hope you can see it so this have a short tip pretty precise and like a little bit the same of this yeah you have the choice both are pretty pretty good for fine details don't wondering about my finger things it comes from the covid 19 virus <laughs> not from the virus uh, from the washing and uh, the cleaning stuff and then we have a baby and change the diapers and I, my fingers are slowly go crack of the stuff yeah <laughs> okay these are the brushes you need really you need that yeah okay uh, to the brush the next thing that I use ah, come on is some brushes like this from this company artist opus the normal brushes of the artist opus for me in my opinion very bad very bad really they ah, okay this is for me it's not worth it but this dry brush series yeah it's the series D for Duke <laughs> uh, these are very good but you can, I think you can use every other um, makeup artist brushes from the stores. Yeah, it's the same. But for me, this one is good, uh, especially the, the small one. I use this for the stippling things. Pretty awesome. You can go clean this and you become this. Yeah. Open it. If you put the color, then here, go here. And then you can very good stipple or dry brush. And it's a, it's a fine idea. I like it. It's good. Oops. Okay. <laughs> so what we need next. Okay. In my case, um, I experimental with a lot of airbrushes. And for me, the airbrush is the most really really a super most essential tool that i need for my commissions and for a super fast painting for a lot of miniatures if you work on 10 miniatures or something like that then i use uh, airbrushes i really i start with my airbrush career with a normal normal chinese one yeah but uh, this one I modified with another cup. This one was for me very good, double action. Pretty pretty good for my work. It's it's uh, hold a long time. Uh, I use this a long time. Then after that, I, a friend of me tells me, hey, check out the green stuff things. The green stuff world is for me very, very good airbrush for uh same stuff double action nine pieces or something like that and this is for a beginning a very very good airbrush it's very smooth and you have everything what you need for the the, the size of the of the uh, spray and so on really really for for a beginner is this one and it's very cheap i think uh 26 euro or something like that and really good for uh, spraying out maybe some big things or normal miniatures or priming perfect yeah but after the time some friends of me like Angel Gialdes or uh, Sergio oh no not Sergio but Angel say yeah uh, check out the infinity stuff and the friend of me the rupee from UK uh, from my team say okay I buy me this one and test it yeah and he tested it and he was stunning really very precise very good made in Germany uh, really really fine airbrush and I asked uh, some other guys uh, like tabletop beyond and so on and asked them hey are they really so good and they say yeah they are this is a really uh, one of the best airbrush that I that you can buy and this is from Harder and Steenbeck. Yeah, you get this with this cover from Harder and Steenbeck. And here is the baby. This is the Ferrari under the airbrushes. Yeah. 
Okay, what, what can I say? Uh, is this really good or not? Mm. Normally people say, okay, made in Germany stuff are pretty awesome. Yeah, I agree. That is, that is so. But sometimes the most things are made in China. Games from Germany, but made in China. Okay. But this one is really made in Germany. And for me, this one is really the best choice that you can do uh, when if you need an airbrush. The thing is, uh, the negative point is, is it's very, very expensive. It's cost over 200 uh, euro, but it's worth it. It's a double action, very smooth. You can tip it very smooth and very slow and very tiny dots. For example, if you want to highlight stuff here or something like that, you can really go and put them here. And this is very, very precise. Really, really awesome stuff. And the next good thing is if you are clogged, you can check this here. Put out this thing you can directly check here go with cleaner clean directly here or um, put out the, the cap look at the different here they have uh, two pieces open a little bit here and you can pull down oops the noodle at uh, the needle and and clean the needle yeah this is very good for a very fast cleaning because if your color is clocked or something like that yeah pretty pretty good go fast and yeah i like it very much it's easy to clean really really easy to clean because if you see here for example you open this then you have a tool to open the the small thing here I don't, I don't know what's the word in English the cap here and then open this and then open this and then you can took the needle outside and yeah? this is very very stressful I think yeah go also fast but for the beginning it's well, horrible and you cannot pull away oops this box you have but this is big enough to go inside here and check it everything yeah it's good but like I say for the beginning is this very good starting here a little bit medium pro and this is like a super pro yeah easy to clean everything is fine I work with them now over I think uh, so 100 hours and look at that how clean here you can check the the, the size of the the power sorry I don't know the words in English I have to check on the website very good awesome tool and another important tool is this one it's a cleaner for your airbrush very very important put airbrush cleaner or water inside put your airbrush here start it five minutes or something like that and they will clean your airbrush very good here is my compressor stuff of the airbrush things and yeah and yeah that's our to the airbrushes and uh, the next good thing for essential tools are a nipper here i take this one from the red grass games this this is the rgg nipper and i think this is one of the best because have some tiny stripes here and you have really really a good thing if you put out the miniatures from the spruce really precise really good to handle like this so yeah really strong look at that 
really strong, yeah? So here, zack. Yeah, really strong. And one of the essential tools that you need if you buy managers and you have to cut them out. Um, some of the most of the people use uh, um, a knife, like this one, for example, and they cut them and, swap, and maybe they cut in the hand. Remind every time from from the body uh, afar. Okay, so you need something like that, but in my case, I need this one and do for me the main job. Yeah, okay. Ha, now comes ah, here is another essential tool it's a driller. You need that because some of the models are from the base, and then you can put the model in the base. Um, I recommend a small fine driller like this one. Oh, sorry, put this inside here and just wait a sec. No, put this inside and drill the miniature in the feet or something like that where you want to have it. <coughs> Sorry, it's very easy. And then you have the miniature on this part and you can paint it so and don't hit the ground. Pretty essential tool. And the next good thing is for this, if you buy um colors for example for example skate color yeah you open it oh no it's closed it's totally closed you remove this okay i, I don't do this remove this go from the down to up and drill your uh, stuff free and you have an open bottle that is really really important for skate color yeah if you use skate color so okay we have the brushes we have uh, the airbrushes the compressor for the airbrush for example I use a small one for the table it's it's enough you don't need a big one you have you see my work and you need for small miniatures sorry you need for small miniatures only a small compressor okay we have the airbrush we have the brushes we have the nip we have the dry brush brushes <laughs> we have the strangest thing like this the foam okay what we need next ah tape paper uh tape this is a tape you can buy wherever you want not from a specialty company i got this from green stuff world because green stuff world for me they have the most of the the tools thing that you need and good company and very very uh, green economical pretty cool i like this company okay and you buy this stuff and you can tape it things that uh, before you spray or something like that for uh, yeah to don't hit the other things so we have this we have this so now we come to the ah oh, let me hear from gamers grass tufts uh, this is very good for me pretty awesome like the stuff from uh, army painter or something like that Pretty good stuff, but one negative point. They they uh, glue under the, the tufts are so strong. If you put some on the base and maybe you are not so happy with the place and you will re uh, remove it, this is sometimes not possible because this is very strong, the glue is very, very strong. For somebody is cool, for me is sometimes not so good, but I like it, it's very good. The next thing is if you have uh, no intention to make a base, you can buy bases. Look at this. Look at this. Our finishing base, 
pretty cool pretty awesome i love it look the details flowers and stones and everything that you needed perfect it's not so cheap but perfect yeah really you can buy this stuff and make the most coolest result of your miniatures so what's next yeah you can buy uh, everything every time so stuff like this one for me martian iron crust is one of the best it's a uh, texture from citadel uh, technical for the uh, bases for me it looked pretty good you can use this in this color you can uh, uh, color over over paint it in another color that you have streets or something like that or sand or something like that. really a good thing yeah so we have the brushes we have the airbrushes we have bases we have tapes we have driller we have dry brush stuff everything okay flow enhancer flow enhancer super i see it by my friend mark sorastros he uses it every time take this one two drops three drops put it in a box and a little bit water for smooth transition and color mixing super really really awesome i like it just wait and always have tissue <laughs> yeah oh what you need distilled water you can take it from everywhere i take only the uh, only water from the german hills from the mountains deep deep in the caves i go every time in the caves very deep where the descent is yeah fighting with the monsters and then i took me some bottle of german mountain water the best water of the world better than fiji okay no just kidding this is distilled water you can buy it very cheap in the drugstore yeah you can use uh window window uh, uh window cleaner for for dry uh, for uh cleaning or airbrush cleaner yeah that's our that's it but one of the most essential tool for for brushes every time when i paint it after that i use this one i put them inside shake a little bit and then stroke it on the uh, tissue and then I wash it and then I get a very clean brush really good I like it so okay we have the cleaner we have the brush we have the airbrush we have everything and yeah? we have stuff like this you have so but now comes really a big big question every time people ask me <sighs> what kind of holder for the minis i can use and i tell you you can use whatever you want but i have here this one from citadel from game envy from hobby holder game envy from washing thing <laughs> lenore or something like that and of course the ferrari of all this the 360 holder from redgrass games so now we have this all here these two guys i use when i spray everything because i have only this one and i want uh, or this and i want it not to get dirty i use this one yeah for spraying with the airbrush okay very cheap very useful you can hold it and pull it away then the next one is here this is the smaller one this is the same from the hobby holder oh you can oh okay don't work <laughs> it's the same here with the grip i cannot uh, so but i took it you can do it in this part oh very hard okay i said damn what's going on here oh, very very hard okay 
not bad really good you can hold you put this here for holding here or holding here it's not bad it's for me this everything is too big and to, to everything yeah but not bad not bad you can you can buy this this is a cool company for, i think from america is they and not bad it's okay it's good the smaller thing for me is good for basing or something like that then you can pull uh, push a miniature like here for example uh, be careful this is so fresh and so clean and then i can check some stuff for the base or here or something like that yeah this is for me it's good to handle it's very smart very very tiny and this is good very this is one of my favorite but then we have this one from gw this is also a good thing but it's very heavy if you hold it a long time it's heavy and this one is a little bit stressy yeah if i put for example i put i want to put a miniature here yeah, and then I have to. Uh, uh, well, so this is good. It's hold very, very, very strong. But yeah, it's okay. I, but I think for big ones, not so good. Maybe for a smaller bases. Yeah, it's old. It's good. This mechanic is mechanic is not bad, but very heavy. So and now we comes to the Ferrari. This is for me one of the almost favor you can hold it pretty good really in the hand it's not heavy it's very easy pretty hand you you have to put this stuff they send it to and uh, here on the top of the holder took the miniature put the miniature be careful because my base is here so fresh and so clean I finished them for an hour so and then you hold it very very strong yeah and the best thing is you can turn it around 360 and the coolest feature you have to paint this black hold hold the brush hold the brush here and turn it turn it in every what's for you better comfort yeah very very easy Zack. And fast I like this holder mostly this is really really a super tool and yeah that's the winner in my opinion if you want one of these take this this is also good really everything that you helps you uh, for painting is fine really really everything is fine yeah in my opinion this is my favorite because this turn fashion and hold it the grip is good and it's not so uh, expensive i don't know the price but it's not expensive pretty awesome tool then for me <laughs> this small thing is for me my next winner i like it you get this with this stuff and this stuff and these cups a lot of these cups and this is good for handling so small things and so on yeah for me this is the second one and the third one is the citadel because this is so heavy and uh yeah but it's an old one it's okay yeah these four guys they are more on the market but what what can i say these four guys are pretty pretty awesome so we have the uh the base stuff we have the holder we have the brushes um we have the airbrushes and the nippers and the texture and the knives and so on but now let us see the wet palette from red grass games okay i take it and we see you i see you again so here are the wet palettes essential tool really really one of the most essential tool that you need for painting this is the painter and this is the studio this is for a bigger size things or this is for the smaller if you paint one miniature or something like that look the the size you see a brush 
but I show you cool tricks. Okay, let me explain first. We took this uh, big one uh, away and took the smallest one. Yeah, if you buy this, you get a pot like this, pretty good, good for the brush, for the colors, and something like that with magnets. You see, oops, there are magnets here and there. Yeah. Okay, you get this hydration paper sheets, also super, and this gummy you can just pull over it, holding it down. So we open it, and you see first here is a gummy. This is like a Tupperware to hold them really close, that your color really really stay long wet. But I will show you the next thing inside are the foam yeah first do a little bit water on the ground bring the foam it's anti-mold foam here do some expensive German water on it from the uh, down of the caves of the mountains because we in Germany we have no electrician everything we are living in the woods <laughs> with caves and so on yeah okay uh, do the foam here and let them they they pull the water you see here something dirty things this comes from my uh, painting session from my color this will happen after a time and then took uh, ah, a paper I have right here I want so setting up like the folia for uh, the 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 for the cell phones, yeah. You see, they come welling, but wait a sec, they go back from alone. Yeah. Now we wait. Yeah, you can go smoke or something like that. Go make an espresso coffee. <laughs> Good. We pull them here, you can make them very smooth and very straight. It's not the cat, it's my baby in the background, if you hear that. <laughs> my wife is playing with my kid. So, that's it. Took a color on it, uh, for example, we took a color here huh? come on color what's up ah. so you see the foam this is very wet and someday or sometimes I put some water drop here or in the box and because I stay all I paint always super wet and take the really from here to there and mix it yeah and you see this is really really awesome and my record was uh, five days five days I close this every use this every day and the colors stay wet five days yeah it depends how many water you put inside this uh, foam and yeah what can i say it's for me the best tool you see you can work this to the glazes to the normal color here and they really 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 stay wet so okay now you think okay i can buy this one and don't need the big one i can yeah you're right i show you a trick you took this here, took this here, put the foam here inside, put the same paper chip inside this, and you have two ones. The same. But if you need only one, you can took only one, put them here, very close. If you want, you can do this uh, gummy. 
over it so hold it very very close it's very beautiful I love it and the same technique has the big one the same technique is a little bit bigger you see it yeah it's the foam put the paper on it everything the same really I don't show it now everything the same have the magnets here and it comes always with the paper sheets these are the big ones it's enough for a big painting session it's really for me these are the best essential uh, tools a wet palette on the market really you can buy it at red dress games support this company this company are very smart very clever cool guys and what can i say look their stuff that i get from there pretty awesome and of course the brushes <clears throat> this is what you need really this is what you need but you can test it other stuffs and so on yeah but i recommend this stuff is for a better painting for a better world for umbrella corporation no from red grass games yeah okay the last but not least what i want to, say, uh, 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 to show you is some glasses like this one if you uh, paint very tiny things you can buy a glass like this one they have light but you don't need it um this is pretty good <laughs> also pretty good for my wife she took the nails from my kid very tiny nails she took my braille uh, took my glasses and then cut the nails from my little little cute baby yeah this one or uh, ordinary glass from the drugstore that is what you need to use for a better painting and now I show you uh, the colors that I use okay we see you I see you so here are the colors that you needed and I have three station of the colors uh, I will explain to you use my t-shirt do you explain to me <laughs> okay I will have to explain to you and first these are from the company uh, Vallejo yeah from the model colors the game colors uh the panzer aces and so on this is my basics this color i used for every time for the basic steps and for good mixing and time for some some experimental things and, and this is really the basic stuff that i use for standard painting and for me in my, op in my opinion the colors from model color are pretty awesome pretty good you can dilute it with water and some thinner of course but uh, the best way is the water and yeah that's the positive things on these colors and the next one are the game colors also pretty pretty good but they have a negative point they go and have the ability to go shiny a little bit and that's the reason you have to use some matte medium or something like that to reduce the shine effect okay these are in the right corner are my basics i use it for yeah for the starting phase and sometimes uh, in the middle parts of the painting and then i go here it's also game colors and the washes the inks in my opinion the best inks of the market very strong very intense you have to be diluted and uh, then you can use it now yeah? okay standard special things special colors like verdigris and so on and then we go upside to the scale color the scale colors are pretty awesome i love this they are really really a little bit outside of the range and they have some cool colors and nice effects and so on but the negative point is is expensive expensive than this one but 
uh, you have to drill the bottle caps. This is one of the negative points. I, 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 I mean it, I, I hate it yeah, because uh, you pull them up and there is totally close. You have to drill with a driller from inside, yeah, go in the bottle from inside, suck and drill it open and put a bullet inside because uh, just wait you hear it maybe <laughs> okay I put the bullet inside because they are very thick the colors are very good but very thick this the lighter ones are the fantasy scale there's a new um, new recipes of colors they a little bit thinner and yeah but it's the same but a little bit thinner this is in my middle part I use this for experimental and special pro things and then I go here to the left part this is my support center we have here some a lot of game effects glazes from GW uh, metal colors special ink intense colors from AK active uh, mixing stuff and the common uh, GW colors I put it in the bottles and contrast colors and washes and texture and so on primer and here are the uh, pigments I, I have a lot of more stuff but it's this stuff is uh, what I use and sets like this one this is my favorite set the flash set you never use a better flash set like this these are one of the best flash colors that you use for your miniatures really I recommend this buy this and you will very very happy to get cool faces like this guy here I hope you can see it or the Mephiston yeah I hope you see the face yeah. you can paint really really nice faces with these colors and yeah you will be happy with this okay this is um, my range that I use for the commissions and of course I have more of the uh, GW colors and army painter here when I use it I can take it from here but this is the main stuff that I use it yeah okay this is all what I need to show you what you want to have and the only thing what I can say is stay safe stay at home fuck the virus and support every people that you can support them yeah uh, really support everything because the time is hard the commissions are uh, very very rare and many many people lose their jobs and half time their working stuff but the rent apartments and the houses and the the bills are everything the same they reduce nothing and we have to pay all the hundred percent but we we get only uh, 60 percent yeah and that is a shame and this is what i say support every every artist every worker every man that you you know it they have a store or something like that support them and give them a chance to survive this crisis okay thank you for all the followers thank you for all the uh, supporting stuff check out my uh, Facebook and my Instagram account please let a comment below uh, you can all see the the whole products in the list below in the in the description I make links to the companies then you can order this and I don't need an affiliate program or something like that it's not impossible it's not important for me okay um yeah then this is it and have fun and happy miniature painting <laughs> bye